Welcome back, you guys, to another freaking video. You already know the vibes. Y'all already know the vibes. As you can see, there's a little bit of decor situation going on. Okay, don't play. I am literally 90% finished with this apartment. So I will show you guys everything soon, but I'm just so excited. The little posters, okay, you little sneak peek. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I've been MIA for like two weeks, but I'm back now, so I don't want to hear it. If you have something to say, don't, because I'm back. If you have not read the title, by now you should read it, but if you're not going to read it, this video is going to be about my three unpopular soccer opinions. This is not in any order or anything. This is just three things that just, just kind of get on my nerves a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna waste no time, y'all. I'm not gonna waste no time talking. Let's get into this freaking video. So, anyway, my first unpopular <laughs> ah! my first unpopular opinion is end of the season meetings if you are a professional soccer player even if you're in college like you know how the coach is like okay we're going to do our end of the season meeting yeah so most people know this end of the season meeting it's just like when the coaches talk to you about how your season was and you know what could have been better what do you think you did well stuff like that I'm I don't like it I don't like it because at that point I'm checked out I'm ready to go on vacation I'm not thinking about soccer I'm physically mentally emotionally tired from soccer I just spent 11 months you know tuned in with soccer my brain turned on doing the same practice every single day um respectfully as soon as that final whistle blows of that last game of the season I'm done I'm literally done. I don't want to wait a week and then we go talk about my season. I don't care. You know, I just, I don't know. For me, I'm just like so checked out. Like I'm just ready to go. Thinking about seeing my family. I'm thinking about hanging out with my boyfriend. I'm thinking about all that stuff. Like I'm not thinking about soccer. As soon as the last game is done, I'm done with that season. That season is dead to me. I'm done. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to see that season no more. I don't even want to look at that season. But I know it's necessary. I know it's professional. I know we, we got to do it. We have to do it, whatever. I know all that. So I'm not saying, and I know other people don't mind it. They don't have a problem with it, but I'm just, I don't like it. Cause for me, when I'm done with soccer, I'm done with it. But that's just how I am. So that's probably why I just don't like it so much because that's just the type of person I am. When I'm done with practice, I'm done with practice. Whatever criticism you have for me for that game, you better do it directly after the game because <laughs> I'm done with it during the week. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about that game anymore. That was like, what, last week? I don't want to talk about that no more. But that's just my unpopular opinion. I don't, them end of the season meetings, <laughs> it's a no for me. Moving on to unpopular opinion number two, studs. Everybody be wearing them. Everybody prefer them. Everybody like them. I don't even want to see them. I don't want them. I don't want to wear them. I don't want to think about them. I don't like them. I mean, I get the purpose of them, you know, so you don't fall, slip, you know, when it matters most. I understand that, but I don't, I don't care. <laughs> As for me, I don't want my foot to be stuck in the ground. I don't want to be stuck in the ground. I can't move. And then when I do move, I twist something. I'd rather slip and fall and if you know me like as a player and stuff i'm rarely on the ground i'm not i'm not on the ground because i try my best not to be on the ground so a need for studs was never a thought in my mind to begin with even if i was slipping a lot i don't want them they hurt my knees because they're just hard you know like studs they have that hard you know like cleats you can bend if you bend it but you know studs they hard at the bottom literally because they're you need to be able to screw the metal in to the bottom of the cleats. So they can't even like bend like this, they hard. So that's just me, but everybody loves them. They like, oh, I'm wearing my studs. Oh, it's raining, I can't wait. Are you wearing your studs? I'm wearing my studs today. Like, I don't know, it's kind of slippery outside. <laughs> I, I don't like them. That's my unpopular opinion. I understand them. I understand it. I get it. I know the defenders gonna look at me and be like, she crazy. That is just my opinion. I don't like them and me personally, I will not have a need for them. And then y'all still be slipping with the studs on. So answer that. I don't know what that's about. 
I do not know what that is about. Okay, moving on to unpopular opinion number three, <sighs> night games. They don't excite me. They don't hype me up for the game. They don't do this, that, or the other. If anything, I'm tired. When we're warming up at 8 p.m., the same time that I'm literally in bed, that's annoying to me. And I was okay with them like in college, you know, cause I was like, oh, nighttime, night vibes, all this, you know? But as I'm getting older, I just hate them now. I hate them. For example, when we have a nine o'clock game, I'm thinking about the game all day. I'm trying to decide, should I eat three meals or should I eat two meals? Cause it's like, oh, I don't want to eat too much cause I'm about to play, but also I need energy. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just, then I need to take a nap. So then I'm taking a nap. Should I take a long nap or should I take a, you know, I don't want to be tired when I wake up, but I need some energy for the game because you know it's at night. <laughs> Too much to think about. Like, and usually our games in this league, they're at 2.30. 2.30 or like three. One time y'all though, last year we had a game at 12.45. <laughs> we had a game at 12.45. I was so happy. I woke up at nine, went straight to the stadium straight to the stadium put my cleats on <laughs> went straight on the field we was done at like three that was the best time of my life i was i was so happy i could do stuff after the game if i wanted to it was the perfect time if you ask me you can go even earlier than 12 45 me personally because i want to get my game over with i want to get over with like not in a negative way i just I'm always thinking about my game, like, ooh, am I gonna play good? Am I gonna do this? Like, you know, what am I gonna do in the game? Like this, that, I need to score, I need to do this. Imagine thinking about that for the whole day until 9 p.m. I don't wanna do that. It's just better for my mental to get the game over with, early, done, and cannot get into those night games. 9 p.m. is crazy. A 9 p.m. game is very, very crazy. Let's get that game over with. Wait, what are we waiting all day for? Let's get it over with. And then if you lose, then it's like, I waited all day for that. Like, <laughs> but anyway, that is all for my soccer unpopular opinions for this round. I'm gonna do another round of that. Also, I'm gonna do another pet peeve video. I don't know if I'm gonna do a soccer pet peeve video, like another one of them, or I'm gonna do a France. I really wanna do a France pet peeve video because these French people y'all I'm gonna I'm finna tussle I'm about to tussle okay I'm finna tussle with these French people also you guys my boyfriend is coming and we're gonna do an unpopular soccer opinion together so I already have the topics and everything is about to be lit fire everything and we have disagreements and we agree on some things but it's gonna be funny that is it for this video you guys thank you so much for tuning in Thank you so much for liking this video, subscribing, do whatever you need to do. And I will see you guys next week for another lit video.